These days, people expect to know what brands stand for. They want transparency into who we are, what are our values. And so this is an effort to open the door and let people see behind the curtain of K-Swiss and to see exactly who we are and what we're doing. Let people inside, why not be transparent? So this is a view inside our company. So welcome inside K-Swiss. K-Swiss is a 50-year-old sneaker company, one of the big legacy sneaker brands, best known for the K-Swiss Classic. We're in the middle of a significant brand turnaround to bring K-Swiss back to prominence. It's really a classic underdog story, being in a market with some seriously big and powerful competition and causing us to have to be very entrepreneurial, very fast and always hungry. Hello? Hey, it's Gary Vaynerchuk. I'm here with Barney, president of K-Swiss. No way. I'm not <laughs> joking, bro. Nice. I would say, you know, on, just on the sneakers, that uh, this, you know, there's a concept behind this, which is clouds and dirt. I think what you're gonna see when we launch this on July 16th is the concept will come to life with Gary. We haven't, we've sort of held Gary back to say, look, don't give away too many of the, of the secrets and the images around this and some of the details because, you know, we wanna save that for the launch. So we've, we've sort of uh, hampered him a little bit um, and tried to sort of hold him back, which is obviously like trying to, trying to hold a tiger back. Uh, but there is a tons of details and, and good stuff on this you're gonna see on July 16th. How long have you been in the sneaker game? Uh, personally? Yeah. So probably about 15 years. And how did you first get into the game? Uh, I actually was first at, uh, I was in the marketing, in marketing for software and I just took my marketing uh, prowess. skills, prowess, or, or yeah, across into the sneaker game. And I got a lucky break to go into you? Puma. Puma. Puma, yeah. So a guy called Tony Batone, yep. I knew, and he was uh, the CMO of, um, of Puma. And I came in at a great time when the brand was really taking off. And I was there maybe seven years as head of marketing for the US. And then I took a flyer on a small brand called uh, Palladium, which was a boot yep. company. Yep. And, um, you know, took that from you know 15 million to over 100 over about four year period. Learned a lot there. Learned a ton there, and I probably learned and I probably learned the most though by taking over K Swiss. This has been the sort of this last couple of years has been blood, sweat, and tears. Right. You know, and, and talk about clouds and dirt. You know, clouds in terms of 30,000 foot. What does the brand stand for? And dirt in terms of like carrying a shoe bag around, selling shoes, pricing details. You know, really you know, micro, macro in tune, it has to be the solution. But, you know, where this came from was really about saying, we have to find new ground for K-Swiss, not the old traditional route of limited editions or uh, athletes or rappers. You know, how do we find something we can win at? And that's when we sort of came up with this idea of entrepreneurship is the new aspiration of youth culture. And so that's, the that's, where, we, that's where we went Andy, and here we are. Thank you, Gary, as always, I appreciate it. So as we continue this journey, we invite you to come along with us. We'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly, and give some insights into new products coming, interesting people we meet, and lessons learned along the way. Join us again next week as we go treasure hunting to find an archive of vintage caseless models from the 80s and 90s, recently discovered in the upper racks of our warehouse. So stay tuned.